Right, so this is our first game for the Amiga Zeal Will on the Saturday, and it is simply known as Clax. Will this game be a catastrophe? Yeah, I blame the heat for that one. Apologies. Oh, will it be a classic? Yeah, I... <laughs> again, I apologise. It is the night, and there is time for clacks. Time for clacks, okay. Pictures by... Pictures by Mark Mark. Mark Mark and Atari. I really, really hope that that's his real name. And I really hope that's uh, Kelly Kelly's fiance. I know Kelly Kelly's not a real name as well. But uh, yeah, an interesting wrestling name. Anyway, um, yeah, let's get into it. Oh, it looks... Actually, maybe I should look at this bit. Okay, so it looks like a puzzly like, Tetris kind of thing, or columns perhaps. Yeah, it looks more columnsy than Tetrisy. Three in a row, diagonally, 5,000... Okay. Well then, shall we begin? Wave 1, wave 6, or wave 11? I'd probably do better on the later waves, because it already gives me a point advantage. It'd probably give me more points than I would on where, wave 1. Where? Oh, it's already started. Okay, I thought I had to press Y. Okay, a clax is three tiles of the same colour in a row. Okay. So you have to grab the bits... Or do you? I, I guess you do. Okay. Oh, they sort of stack? Right, okay, so how do you... Oh, did we lose already? Okay, that was... that was quick. Uh, oh, okay, so fire to dislodge. Left and right is obvious. So we want to dislodge all the purple ones, well, all the purple ones first. Okay. So if you stack two and then press fire quickly twice, you... Okay. I'm beginning to understand this. Can I leave the... Uh... Oh yeah, I forgot, you got to um, grab them first before. Okay, I mean, it's just the first wave. That didn't seem too where, bad. Where? You must get five clacks. The paddle can hold up to... Oh, it can hold up to five tiles. Okay. And it's going a bit faster now. God, this is only wave two. It's pretty vicious. Oh! Oh! Okay, so pushing up sort of catapults them. Okay, that's interesting. So it's all like stalls them for a bit. <laughs> oh, that's kind of cool. Oh. You know what? Let's start over. This, it's interesting. It's it's very brutal though. Doesn't give you much chance. Doesn't give you a very big error, uh, margin of error at all. It is the night. Okay, let's try this again. Here we go. And it's down that makes it go faster. That's okay, that's interesting. When it's in the middle of doing like a clax, I guess it's called. Oops. Damn it, just I'm like, missing it by a millimeter. Yeah, you can sort of move freely as the uh, column's been uh, vanished.
It's got over eager there. Get three diagonals. I thought, oh, okay. A diagonal. But do I have to get diagonal? I, I suppose we have to, but I mean, what I mean is, can I get uh, columns anyway just to sort of get rid of them? I guess I'm gonna find out. I see a blue one there. Do much on that. Oh, okay, so regular columns don't even count. Oh, we... except they do. Oh, so why can't I do the yellow ones on the right? What was that about? Uh, Mr. Lloyd, uh, Logan's. Hello, hey, how's it going? Thank you very much for the raid of five. How you guys doing? It's just me at the moment. I don't think there's any mods around, but I will definitely give you a shout out. Hopefully, so. Actually, that's the perfect time. And yeah, hope. Uh, yeah, what were you guys up to? What were you guys playing? I agree. It is insanely hot. Yeah. Um. It's cooled down, well, I was going to say, for our country, it's cooled down a little, but, um, yeah, it's still, it's still, uh, yeah, pretty unbearable. Planes, oh, Silent Bomber, okay, um, I don't think I, I've thought of Bomber, I thought of, uh, Bomberman, like Dino Blaster, anything like that, for the PS1 till it crashed, oh, crashed four times after a boss and, uh, went fuck it and played Bloody Roar 2, 3, 4, oh, okay, I'm trying to remember what Bloody Roar was, was that like a beat-em-up? I'm not too, yeah, not too sure. I'm not, uh, I'm not that versed on the PlayStation. I only remember a few games that I bought and played, and that was, um, that was Tekken 3. Tekken 3 South Park Rally, and I think we had another racing game as well. Our 3D fighting changed them into animals. Oh, nice. <laughs> I say nice, it sounds massively violent, but yeah, it sounds cool. Uh, so, for those of you that do not know me, uh, probably for the best actually, but no, seriously, uh, I'm Bobby Zill, I do, I generally do a bunch of Amiga game stuff, and uh, yeah, at the moment we're doing something called the Amiga Zill Wheel, where we spin a wheel and then play the game that's uh, being featured on there, and uh, yeah, as you can imagine, a whole mixture of uh, bad and good games await. Uh, on the Sundays I do a bit of a chill stream, and on other days I tend to do a few things on my Steam library, you know, catch up on that sort of stuff. So I was playing, yeah, just like a whole random mixture, like um, on the Thursday we did a, um, like an anime beat-em-up, uh, Golden Fantasia, before that was Balatro, which was kind of like a relaxing card game, that was pretty cool, but yeah. Generally, generally an Amiga, uh, an Amiga game streamer, uh, but uh, yeah, a couple of other things on the side as well. Uh, Silent Bomb is like a 3D, oh it's a 3D axis game. If Bomberman had four crimes and mechs, I see. So I was gonna say my general preference when it comes to Amiga games is platformers. Just so you can they're the sort of games that you could just like dive right in and have fun. Something like this is a bit out of my zone. It's um yeah, this one's called Clax and we just gotta basically um stack up blocks so they form a column. First two ways were pretty straightforward, but then the third one you had to rely on diagonals and uh yeah. Already that's too much for my poor brain to handle. Oh, you've played icing? Okay, you've played clacks before, nice. Thank you. 
Oh, okay. Your sort of zone out games, nice. There was a really cool one that I I think I've only played it a couple of times. That was um and I've, that's been predominantly uh shown on Amiga Live as well, and that was uh what was it called? Age of Rock. I uh, really love the music on that. Uh Graham Plays, thank you for, oops, thank you very much for the follow. Yeah, I don't mind puzzle games if they if they're a little bit a little bit on the soothing side. This one just kind of throws you in the deep end and expects you to perform. Like many of my relationships, no, it's too personal. Oh, this is the yeah the diagonal. So regular ones don't count. I don't think. I don't know why that one counts. That one is a bit weird. But we could also uh, check out some of the later stages as well. So very much like Columns, you got the ability to jump to... Is it Wave 3 or Wave 11? Something like that. So we'll have a look into that. You need to, Yeah. Oh, oops. I think we've already botched this one up. Yeah, let's just show what let's just wipe that. Okay, here we go. Okay, I guess that's what it means by a diagonal there. I mean, did I have to be in a specific location as well? And I thought <laughs> just getting one diagonal would have been enough. I think we need three. Oh, two. Oh, yeah, it says it on the top of the screen. Oh, I guess it's just filling up something rotten. Right, and if you stack everything up, fair enough, it's like it does a Tetris on us. Okay, let's focus and see if we can do this level. Uh, okay, so we start off with a white block. Block would be pretty amazing. Oh, there we go. Do that, whatever the hell that was. Um, oh, oh, no, we screwed it. Damn it. We had two more yellow blocks. We oh, could have done it. Okay. Oh, hey, we got a high score, though. Okay. Awesome, I suppose. This is the other puzzle, working out the letters. There we go. There we go. Okay, let's jump on to what other waves were there to leap to. Uh, we'll be back in a bit, going to jump in the shower. Yep, you uh, you cool down, sir. You have a good one. And uh, yeah, thanks again for, raid, uh, for, for the raid. 
one. Oh yeah, same here actually. Yeah, exactly. Are we in the same room? That's kind of weird. No, um, it's 30 here too. It's pretty, pretty scorching. Right, wave six. Okay, here we go. Ten clacks. Make a big X on this way for secret warp? What the hell? A big X. Ooh, different background. I might, might actually prefer this than the um, easier waves, I don't know. Is there different shades of yellow? Hmm. It does that, yeah, they're actually slightly different shades, I just realised that. Ooh, ooh, I'm guessing that does, I'm guessing that does anything? So that's like a wild card sort of thing? It is excellent. Yeah, this is way more enjoyable than the earlier levels. Certainly digging this. the wild tile to complete any yeah we just uh, figured that one out i'm guessing that was the multicolored one yeah maybe i should just start on wave six from now on oh except we've got to do diagonals oh, i'll tell you that back this is going to be the worst thing ever okay let's try to persevere then oh that did not acknowledge i wonder why what am I doing wrong? Oh, there's a diagonal there. <laughs> a completely, um... Unintentional diagonal. That was too high. I mean, yeah, maybe I should lay off the drugs. Uh, Trap, hello, how you doing? Hope all is well. Freaking... We can substitute champion on Mortal Kombat for crying out loud. Hope you are having a good day. Oh. That's cool. That was complete fluke. You doing alright? As you should be. Survive 55 tiles. Didn't sleep too. Yeah, um, I think it was like 20. Well, it felt like 20. When I went to bed, I think it was like, it was just after two. Sleeping in the morning is not a bad thing. I think we botched this one up righteously. It is interesting how these levels give you um, uh, different stipulations as well. There's a bit of variation there. It's uh, it is vicious. Oh, whoops! And we forgot. To <laughs> God's sake. Oh man, I'm usually more. I usually have better reactions than this.
Yeah, they did say um, after Friday there will be a bit more of a, a bit more of a mixture. So yeah, I'm feeling the breeze as well. Definitely needed. Siko, hello! Oh, is that an another? Man, loads of people complain about the weather these days. What the hell? What's wrong with that? It's almost like we're part British or something. Uh, same temperature here, much, much, much better. Oh, that's good. Oh, you're not complaining. Oh my god, okay. I stand corrected. I'm just so used to it. That would make us too vain, and the vein is spelled differently for humor. Humor intentionals. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> we know it's not that hot then. If you can make a silly pun like that. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I can see many reasons why. I can not eat your joke, but only because I'm British and because it's too hot. this one a lot. Oh, or maybe not. Light blue. Turn <laughs> out to find it. You'll hear us weak. And not from trap, but rather the mouse who lives up on the roof. What's that about 10,000 points? Uh, uh, that don't tempt me with big points and stuff. Okay. 
can I get? I don't know if I can get um, horizontals or not in this. Never try for one. But yeah, we botched it. Oh, I do like Halley's spray. Oh, you do get horizontals. Nice. Um, was I live in that sound fix yesterday? I, c I can't, I can't remember yesterday. You just gotta, you gotta live for today, goddammit. No one, no one thinks about the past, who cares? See it played by a pro, ha! Huh. Yeah, definitely not for the first time ever. I was going to say, there's probably other channels for that. I mean, I, I know it sounds ridiculous, but I think we're at a time, a day and age where if you want it played by an absolute professional, you may be looking for slightly more than 100 bits, and that person is definitely not me. It is pretty unique, though. I do like it. Give me a blue piece, is it? Oh! Video game! <laughs> Wait. Survive 40 tiles, drop meter is cleared at warp screen. Did that.
Oh, damn it. Oh! Oh, we survived it! I just realised, yeah, it was a uh, survival thing. Please select next wave, 6, 11, or 16. Yeah, go on then. Wave 16. We've, we've mastered the arts of clacks. Sure we have. Yeah, those are the ones we've all played. We've played Bru uh, Blues Brothers, Harlequin, XR, EGA, Lord of the Temptress, and a few on the wall. Yeah. I think they were all on the VOD, or you can see them on YouTube as well, in all its wonderful unedited form. You know, which is uh, obviously infinitely more fun than, uh, you know, going out into the beach and catching a few sun rays and stuff. Oh, hello. Thirteen diagonals. Yeah, that is so going to happen. Barely get diagonals on Connect Four. see any sign blocks presence not looking good oh, and also it doesn't help that I'll put the mustard one on that yep we screwed this oh, okay we ran out of credits <laughs> so, so that's that just sounds like an old man sort of thing it's a good thing you're supporting our Bobby it is the night, and there is time for a quack. You're gonna get tough the more weight he puts on. I mean, yes. We really stop eating whilst playing.
word.
okay, we did 16 before. Shall we just, uh, yeah, just keep it simple, I guess. Three drops per game, four drops. Go on then.
Yeah. Okay. We're guessing. We're guessing there, aren't we? We suddenly picked it up quicker. I suddenly picked it up quicker than I thought it was. Um, suddenly picked it up quicker. So the heat's just uh, starting to frazzle my mind. But yeah, suddenly picking up on it. For for a second there, I thought I was going to get stuck on just like the third wave all the time. But uh, at least we're sort of adapting to how it works. I think the, I think what happened first of all when I was wondering why I couldn't get diagonals, uh, had nothing to do with the uh, diagonals at all. I think it was just the differences between the yellow block, and the one that's slightly, the one that's slightly darker than yellow, like a darkish yellow. But it's, sometimes it's difficult to sort of um, pick those two apart. For me, anyway. Maybe I just see things differently to, uh, you know, from other people. That's my, that, that, I'm going to roll with that excuse. It is the night, and there is time for quack. Quack, quack. Um, that's, yeah, that's, I mean, that's entirely up to you. I don't mind. It's your call at the end of the day. I can say, did you do a bit of uh, research on it yourself? Kind of curious now. Off in both quest, okay. Shall be. I mean, the thing is, I'm more than happy to take on any kind of game, you know, even if it's like completely far and beyond my comfort zone. But I'm just thinking like, um, you know, for the person picking the game, you know, if they ex I always say that I give every game the hour treatment. So yeah, if, if it's just me trying to like figure out the controls for an hour, that's probably not going to be fun for anyone. Like, I don't mind it, but other people might, uh, might not. Honestly, I think games that are more complicated than uh, role players, stuff like that, uh, would have to be simulators. Uh, in particular, flight ones. Like, you know, I'm all right with something like Winds. Winds is something more my my thing. But um, yeah, if it takes like if it takes like half an hour just to get like the plane started, I mean, some people might like that sort of thing. Some people have um, flight simulator, don't they, on the PC? And I still don't understand how... Oh, I kind of respect them, but I don't understand how they can get the enjoyment out of it. But yeah, to each... Uh, to each... To, um, well, I was going to say to each his own. That's a bit of a shit thing to say, but... Um, you know, everyone's different.
Oh yeah, I keep forgetting you can actually lump, yeah, throw blocks around as well. Oh no, there we go. Just get that quick green one in. There we go. That's a bit clutch. Okay, about five minutes ago. I'm actually enjoying it now. It took me a little a little while to get like the basics down. And once I understood like, yeah, some blocks just have a slightly different colour. It actually becomes uh, pretty interesting. I mean, it's still insanely frustrating, but uh, I guess that's part of the game's charm. Super generous with its uh, wild tiles. Yeah, I made that mis same mistake thinking the yellow one had that dark one was one and the same. Oh well. Hello, how you doing? You remember this one? A lot of people seem to remember this one. I, it's completely new for me. I am very surprised. But yeah, hope, uh, hope you're keeping well. Hope the heat is uh, treating you well as well. diagonals. I don't think we're going to make that in the two minutes. Thank you. 
It makes a weird sort of quacking sound, doesn't it, the wild tile? Maybe that's a sign that we're going to play Donk next. The Samurai Donk. Are we full up? We are full up. Okie dokie. Um, I think he played the... Oh, okay, there was a Mega Drive version. Okie dokie. But I think it was released... Oh, is Okay. Wow, I must have been completely in the dark with that one then. I thought it was uh, an Amiga exclusive, but uh, yeah, that just goes show that just goes to show my own arrogance, doesn't it? So on the Mega Drive and a few other systems as well. Yeah, it's um, it is a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. Definitely an old twist on the um, what's it called, Columns? Because yeah, Columns is just a little bit boring. I know some people like it, but um, yeah, this one's this one's pretty cool. Lots of little extras it's got as well. Lots of stipulations. I like that. It is and I certainly, I certainly wish it was the 90s as well. Right up to the point where I'll be like, hang on, where, where's Discord? <laughs> 